in SoCal on occasion. Yeah. Seen, you know, a couple uh, Razo, uh, Razo Armando matches for sure. Yeah. Um, you know, we see this a lot in the IE as well, but you know what? These are two different players that I haven't got to see play very much. Right. I know from a matchup standpoint, Snake's up tilt is kind of the uh, the clear the clear curtain of the zone. Daisy wants to get into this particular area, but up tilt just likes to stuff it. Wow, that grenade did no knockback, but it did so much damage. <laughs> I don't know if you saw that. It was crazy. Yeah, I mean, right now though, BMC just kind of setting up on this ledge here, finally taking some damage. But there's that up tilt clearing out the zone. Because you know, you know, Daisy wants to get in and get some downer action going, yeah. some neutral air, some forward airs. But up tilt just swings. Oh right my there. god, and he rolls right into it. I like the use of the grenade right there. It says if you get up, you're gonna get caught with this grenade, you should roll through it. I can't do anything. Guess what? I was messing with you. I got this up tilt. And yeah, those situations, you know, with Daisy you might have to be patient, maybe drop and parasol stall uh, stall or maybe float stall, something like that, just to find some time. Those grenades don't last forever. But if you move right when they want you to, you know, that's trouble. Yeah. I mean the name of the game against Snake is definitely the patience. Good recovery so far, BMC holding tight. Putting on a big lead, 60%. Nikita coming out just for some pressure across the stage. And of course in the last patch, Daisy had a little, got a little bit of a nerf in terms of being able to kill. Might play pivotal in this matchup, already at 140. But if and you the need bomb. kill power, there's a bomb on stage. Look out, who turned items on? Oh, he got the C4 right there, but the bomb doesn't go off. Man, if I were playing Daisy right there, I'd be like scared, like did I drop the bomb and get killed? But it's actually a C4, good presence of mind there from BMC, using all of his options to recover. Yeah, that was really smart, you know, recognizing he had the C4 set and up. And get him again, yeah. got him again with it. I really want to see Slash Rise paying attention to where the C4 is placed a little more and not letting himself, you know, get caught sleeping on it. All right, there's a four air to close it out, but definitely not the start that Slash Rise was looking for. Might be a little bit salty like his, uh, you know, face mask is saying. Right, forward tilt just gonna force him off stage. Yeah, he's playing a really good game coming out from BMC. A little bit more of a scramble from Slash Rice. And he got a bomb too, almost uh, enough for an equalizer, but wasn't able to connect on it. Yeah, but I mean, even then it was still on BMC's first stock, he was able to find it. Yeah. BMC right now sitting two stocks to one. Very comfortable lead at this point. Right, great use of the air dodge landing and gain the photo out before Slash Rise can really react to it. I respect the down smash, or not, yeah, the down smash attempt, just not able to connect. But a good option to go for in this situation, especially with that roll. Yeah, and the pressure coming out from Slash Rise, both the side B and the forward are finally able to catch BMC, but you know, he still hasn't really found anything meaningful enough to even this game up. The fair going through the projectile. Right. Landing, landing, clearing out both the up smash and uh, his hit box, her box, and uh, gets a picks up an attack and is able to clear out the stock. Yeah, and that but was a great reaction right there from Slash Rice. You know, saw the stairmaster cross yeah, him up, but gets the back air yeah. out and closes it. Exactly. Uh, up tilt online though for Snake. You know, pretty much any direction of uh, Daisy could be a little bit of trouble. And I believe that. Okay, if he gets a grab, he wins the game. That's all yeah. BMC needs. He made tunnel vision there for it just it a little bit. The Nikita pressure, and that's the down throw into the up tilt. Guaranteed past 160. Good call there coming out from Marcus there. Good play coming out from BMC. Slash Rise probably a little frustrated with how that first match uh, started. That's how it goes sometimes. Yep. BMC comfortable lead. Yeah, this matchup, a little rough. A little rough. I feel like, you know, Snake does pretty well against the, uh, the princesses by and large. Yeah, you know, he was looking really solid, making it kind of difficult for Slash Rise to get any sort of approach going or any, like, real opening. He's floating over Bay and Neto. I don't know counted. about this one. He's thinking about it. No, no, no. Go back to Daisy. <laughs> he thought about it, yeah. He thought about it and said, you know what? I uh, really want to win. Yeah. <laughs> that seems like a recipe for disaster. Nate, uh, uh, Snake just hold, holds the grenade button and gets out of some combos and that sort of situation. Not only that, but like not being able to sweet spot the ledge with Uppy anymore. Yeah. Like, that sounds like a disaster for, to recover against Snake. Nikita just wins. Yeah, right. See, I like the use of Peach is what is the point we're trying to get at, but... You know, even still, it's Star, or Daisy rather, excuse me. But from Slash Your Eyes, you know, as far as game plan changes, you lost a lot of mileage just running into C4s. Yeah. If you just pay a little bit more attention in the neutral, that cleans up, you know, at least at least one stock for sure in the deficit. Because he got hit by a few of them. Yeah, but we're seeing a lot of just CQC coming out from BMC as well, you know, 
recognizing what option Slash Rice is going for, and instead of just, you know, throwing a grenade at it, getting his damage, he's willing to just scrap. Especially now when he's in the range, one up tilt, he's probably gonna kill. Especially if he gets the sweet spot. Sour spot, maybe not. Ooh. Nice him. Yeah, that was a good bait. Trying to trick him into using the C4, used it against him, and the, the Peach Bomber coming in clutch. Oh, wow. nice use of the down smash right there. Catches him going to the ledge because he bounced off of the Nikita, actually. Nair into the dash track, 36% for that. So much damage. He's got some up smash, too, off the uh, grab confirm. A Stairmaster. Yeah, not, not the second stock that Slash Rice wanted, and yep. it's still going right now. BMC's running away with this right combo now. Combo video time. If he finishes off, let's get a Twitch clip combo video going. Oh, my God. Goes for the down smash. D good roll in from Slash Rice, but he still isn't able to punish. Yeah, still no damage taken. Wow, oh he ducks God. underneath the turn up and up tilts immediately. BMC, what are you on right now? That first stock was not looking so good, but the second stock just didn't seem to exist for Slash Rice. You heard my commentary saying that, you know, Slash Rice needs to avoid the C4s. I'm just not going to use C4s, and let's see how he likes that. And it's working out pretty well for him so far. Yeah, I mean, he, did, he lost his first stock game punish for using C4 and says, you know what, I don't need it. Never yeah. mind. You're right. Already, and uh, you know, we had a little bit of a nice early percent comment coming out from Slash Rice, but definitely not enough. He's got to capitalize on this advantage state. Good elusive recovery from BMC and catches the turn up too on top of it. Uh, the up tilt trading, but it's a sour spot. Almost had the Nikita coming in to say, you know, to make the trade for the damage. All right, landing back here is very long active hitbox. I um, probably should have held on to that throw just a little bit longer. Yeah, I feel like if, the up smash. if he landed in the up smash, maybe it would have killed. But up tilt's online now, and you know it's gonna be trouble overall. Is that a stitch? No, I don't uh, think it is. I thought I saw a stitch, but not quite. He's gonna get the grenade hit. Here we go. Throws out a Nikita. Oh, Perry? Yeah, at this point, yeah, up tilt's coming out. He's fiending for it. And he's got a full stock to work through and uh, make it happen. Actually, more because he's surviving. He's living. Looking at that old school brawl stick style. Okay, fun. great reaction right there. He's seen BMC land with the back air multiple times. Says, you know, I'm just going to space around it for once. As but long as he uh, manages the game and nothing crazy happens, he's going to bring it home. Slash your ice. It's a miracle time. Yeah, Slash your ice has to take this entire stock without getting grabbed a single time. Not sure what to do in that situation. There's the grenade. He's uh, just a little paralyzed with fear. And there, there it, is. it is. There's the up smash, and that is going to do it. BMC going to take it and guarantee himself a spot in our top bracket. Yep. Good play over overall, you know. Just anything that he was throwing out seemed to be working. And then uh, throw out a few C4s yep. and slash your ice. He's going to be in a little bit of trouble in this pool. All right, so we have Toasty coming next. I'm actually really excited to see that, you know, one of our fellow commentators, a schoolmate of mine, oh, he used to be my roommate, actually. Oh, so really? Yeah. So, you know, I'm going to be really excited to see him play. Also one of, you know, pound for pound, the funniest uh, commentators. Yeah, in SoCal. definitely one of my <laughs> favorites to listen to. Great guy. You guys are going to get the opportunity to hear him come on. I, Does uh, he follow us? I think he follows us, yeah. yeah or was I, he in the morning? Was he before us? No, no. Uh, Vance and Tempo were for, okay. before us, and there was, a, and I believe uh, Toasty is on the okay, next so I think he was before us, but then he had to get some Yeah, something like that. Something like yeah, that, so behind you, the scenes. You guys are